It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Wednesday, the 16th of March. I'm James Spann. Record warmth yesterday, potential for a freeze and frost by the weekend, Sunday morning and Monday morning of next week. Quite a roller coaster ride. And the question is, will it rain in the next five days? Still some uncertainty involved in that. So let's dive in and talk about it. This is where we stand early this morning. That's the uh, water vapor satellite view. Deep upper trough passing north of the state that produced a lot of severe weather over Illinois yesterday and last night. The trailing front is inactive as I do this update. That was the regional composite at 5 o'clock, and there's just nothing there. I do think a few showers could form on the front as it passes through central and south Alabama, but it looks like for most of the state, it's going to be a non-event. Starting off the day in the 60s, Birmingham at 67. Birmingham's official high yesterday, 88. Wow. Blew away the old record of 84, last set in 2012, and came within two of the record high for the entire month of March, 90. Set on March 21st, 1907. But uh, today, not as warm. In fact, look at the cold air flooding the western states, and we're going to feel that this weekend and early next week. And again, there is a very real possibility of frost and a freeze for many places by early Sunday morning. So growers beware. We'll show you the graphics and talk about it more specifically in just a couple of minutes. Up north, high wind warnings in effect for Chicago, Milwaukee, Des Moines, Grand Rapids with a very deep surface low there. We've got winter storm warnings for parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin up in the cold air north of that surface low. They'll be close to having blizzard conditions. No severe weather expected today other than a marginal risk for parts of North Carolina and Virginia, down around Virginia Beach. Uh, in Alabama, there could be some thunderstorms over the southern quarter of the state in advance of that front, but severe weather not expected. Tomorrow, pretty much the same thing. Maybe some thunder for South Alabama. No severe weather. And on day three, this is Friday. I promise we're changing the graphics. They just look the same. A, a chance of thunderstorms for far South Alabama, but nothing severe. This is the rain for the next five days. Valid through Monday morning of next week. For the northern half of the state, not much at all, if this verifies. Barely enough to measure. And the question day is Saturday, as you'll see. But down south, the rain amounts of one inch are likely for places like Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Fort Walton Beach, Panama City. So you've got a beach trip. You'll deal with kind of unsettled weather through Saturday with that uh, stall front in the area. So here we go. This is today at noon off the 06E run of the G. I'm, and again, this is 1 o'clock. I'm in the habit mode here. Since we changed time, we're back on daylight saving time. The local time is an hour different. So this is 1 o'clock today. You can see the troughing to the north. Very deep surface low near Green Bay, 986 millibars. And for us, the sky should be mostly sunny. Temperature is about 10 degrees cooler today with mid-70s. Tomorrow, the stall front stays over South Alabama. Any shower should be south of US 84. Uh, the northern half of the state will feature a dry day. We'll call it partly sunny with low to mid-70s. We'll say between 72 and 75. Friday, we're dry and a bit cooler. Highs uh, go back into the upper 60s with a partly sunny sky. And we note to the west... All of a sudden, the GFS is more robust with this next wave. And by golly, look at Saturday. All of a sudden, it goes from being perfectly sunny and cool to cloudy and wet. You know, and I just hate flip-flopping. I hate that. You know, you look at the forecast one day and it's got sunny. You look at it the next day, it's got rainy. And the the flip-flopping thing is not what we'd like to do. Sometimes you almost have to do that based on, uh, you know, guidance that comes in consistently and uh, this is suggesting Saturday would be a cloudy and cool day with some rain. And we're not going to go all in. We'll just uh, introduce some clouds and a chance of rain for now. We'll check the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model. This is the 12-kilometer uh, run that goes out to 84 hours. This is Saturday morning, and it's got a surface low coming on top of North Alabama. So it kind of is in line with the wetter GFS all of a sudden. So uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to trend back toward a chance of rain on Saturday, and it might wind up being a rainy day. Certainly no severe weather. It's going to be a cool rain, and I don't think it rains all day, but um, so it goes. And then Sunday, yeah, that uh, wave is well to the east, and we get into some much cooler air. Uh, the high will be only in the 
uh, upper 50s despite a sunny sky with a brisk north wind. And yeah, Sunday morning will be pretty brisk. Uh, these are numbers off the uh, GFS Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. It's got 34 at Birmingham, 33 at Anniston, freezing at Huntsville, 31 at Fort Payne. Of course, the numbers are going to vary. I still think we'll have a breeze here, so that will probably prevent a lot of frost Sunday. But Monday, frost should be pretty widespread. But just be aware, some could see a freeze early Sunday. And this is Monday. The surface high is right on top of us. So I think the, tr the chance of frost might be higher Monday morning. And again, the colder pockets could see a freeze. Then during the day Monday, the sky will be sunny with low 60s. Tuesday, sunny with upper 60s, maybe 70, and this is uh, a week from today, troughing over the Great Plains. Surface low is west of Chicago. And then on the following day, March 24th, a cold front comes through, but that's not a severe weather look. The surface low is over northern New England. Uh, you know, earlier we saw looks that suggested maybe strong to severe storms. This, not really. And it will probably change again. And this is Friday, March 25th, troughing over the east. And that front is well to the east and we're cool and dry. These are the anomalies March 23rd through the 29th, generally above average. And there's a look at the numbers and you can see our spike down over the weekend at early next week on the ensembles. It's got 34 for Birmingham Monday morning. And with no wind, that would be a big frost and the colder pockets would see a freeze. And this is why we say if you're planning now, you're doing it too early. And I think it's not the last one. We'll probably have another one in, uh, in April, early April. But after that, we go back in the 70s with uh, lows mostly in the 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side. ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.